Look at this. Wide open. He didn't get touched or anything. Just completely wide open. And boom, he drops it. He just completely drops it. And they, like I said, they were trying to cheat me in this game. All right, and here we go. What's up, boys? So check it out, man. Uh, I have a, a very interesting game ahead, okay? But this is also a game winner. So I actually ended up coming back, as you'll see. Great game, man. Really, really great game. I ended up coming back um, down a few possessions, and we hit a nice game winner, man. So, But you'll see here in, in this video, man, uh, as you see right here, I'm in Heavy Panther. Um, actually, I it's Heavy Saint, okay? So it's Heavy Saint. All right, not Heavy Panther, but it is Heavy Panther you know, or Jumbo or, you know, whatever. It's the same. All of it is the same shit, man. But um, what I'm trying to do here is I'm, I'm still trying to lab new offenses. You know what I mean? Um, but I definitely got cheated quite a few times this game, as you'll see. But what I'm doing in, in Heavy Panther, I'm just going to call it Heavy Panther, but it is Heavy Saint this year. But what I'm doing is every time... I'm motioning somebody different. So I'll motion this guy over. The next play, I'll motion this tight end over Arnold. The next play, I'll motion over Goddard to the other side. And what I'm doing, the reason for that, the reason for that is I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to get a glitchy kind of like run block kind of thing. I don't know. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to lab it and I'm just trying to basically find something glitchy that's really hard to stop. So, you know, I still haven't found my offense yet. I know I said I was running spread and a slot, but... I'm just trying to stay away from the meta, and I haven't found my offense yet. I'm just not truly... Defense is set over G, yeah. I'm, I'm truly good in, in defense. But as you see, I motioned over Arnold this time, okay? And so what I'm trying to do is just... Just trying to figure out, okay, cool. What can I do to, to pick up more yards? As you see, I almost broke that heavy Panther or that heavy Saint. I think it was a QB Blast as well. They only have three plays. They have QB Power, QB Blast, and, and uh, Mesh. <laughs> so that's all they have. It's not like it's a whole playbook. That's the only problem. It would be really good if you could have a receiver out there, but you can only have tight ends out there and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to see, um, you know, kind of some of the things that I can do with it. And as you see here, this is a problem with running a scheme like that is if I'm not playing Mutt, if you're playing Mutt, it's a great scheme. Um, if you're playing Regs, it's not that great of a scheme, okay? Because, you you know, your quarterback gets tired and um, you're going to have to, what you see me do here is I'm flipping through, I'm flipping through all of the uh, formations and stuff, okay? The reason I'm doing that constantly is to, it increases the time that Jalen Hurts will be back at recovered to full speed or to green, I guess you say. As you saw, he was on yellow. Okay, so that's the only issue. Um, so this would be great for Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. I really don't think any other... I don't think any other team it, it'd be good for. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. If you guys are new here, <laughs> right, consider hitting the subscribe button and drop a like for me, man. But um, yeah, we're back on the uploads, man. Back on the uploads. And I, as you see... I'm coming out in Heavy Panther at third down, okay, on third down. And the reason for that is because I'm just truly confident that I can come back. As you see, I motioned over that tight end, okay? So every time I'm kind of motioning over someone different. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, but I do feel very confident in my skill level. So it's like, cool, if I lab and get stopped, I'm probably going to come back and win anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I might as well just continue labbing. At this point, as you see, right, it's fourth down, fourth and 22, and this is a route combo right here. I actually think I switched up the route combo. Yeah, so this is a route combo, right? So I have Watkins on a go route. I have AJ Brown on a, on a corner. And then I smart routed streak on an in route, okay? Right, and as you see right here, I think I had Watkins. I think I had X. I just missed him. I, I was, if I freeformed to the left and freeformed up, I think I would have had him. I saw him too late, which he was. That's funny because he was my main read. And then check this out. Boom. <laughs> right. What a crazy, what a crazy dot. Just crazy vision, man. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to stay away from the meta. You know, I'm trying to stay away from bunch. I'm trying to stay away from trips. I'm trying to run something that nobody else runs. I'm just sick and tired of, uh, of the meta. This way, he, this was a great read. I just better click on great offense, better defense. I mean, that's all I can really say. I felt like that was a really good read, um, but I guess that was just me. 
Uh, but this guy did a lot of scrambling with Lamar Jackson. Completely throws it on the opposite side of the field. That's the only issue with all pro is a lot of people think they're like legit and they think they're really good at the game. But really, when you can make dumb shit, like fucking dumb throws like that, it's really just all pro is just horrible in every way. But as you see, at the time they had McCollum, I don't think they have him on there anymore. Um, but as you see, watch the user. I go over here. And then I immediately hit back this way. This should have been a pick. I'm really surprised I didn't get the, the interception animation, which is very interesting. But Madden is truly... What, what's the word I would use? Madden truly is um, imponderable. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the... That, I guess technically you could actually use that. Yeah, Madden essentially is imponderable, okay? It's just you never know what you're going to get with Madden. It's just very uh, just random it's, it's just very hard to estimate exactly what you're gonna get everything is, is it plays every down plays so different uh as we hit a nice we get a nice sack there i was still labbing this at this point i don't do that anymore really but i'm still moving him out and blitzing him okay just to get a free angle and as you see here he was actually in saint's playbook too so he was running heavy saint as well okay but uh this was before the patch okay now you can't really hot route or sorry you can't really um no huddle that fast and quick snap so this was right before that patch all right and as you see i went ahead and took the center so great um you know great gap shoot but like you said they have qb blast they have mesh and they have um qb power blast yeah mesh only three plays so it's just not it's not the greatest scheme um, and then boom, right? Slay with a nice play, right? Nice breakup. And then I come back and I'm in Heavy Panther 2 or Heavy Saint, okay? So I'm still trying to figure it out. And as you see, what I'm doing is I'm doing something different every time. So this time um, I'm motioning out uh, Stole and then I'm just trying to, right? I almost broke it there too. If I broke that, I think I, I, th I might've been gone, okay? now i'm going to heavy or i'm now i'm going to uh qb power right here if i i was on conservative that's the only issue with conservative is i think i tried to juke here and it wouldn't let me because i'm on conservative okay so when you're on conservative you won't be able to juke right and then this is right here another fourth down i'm going for it um and i just kind of throw it up bad route combo but just kind of you know Right, I was waiting until he scored again, and then I was like, "All right, cool." Then I'll have to lock in. Um, but we get a nice sack there, man. Josh Sweat, you know, eighty-five speed. Right, I'm motioning over Bradbury, and then he quick snaps me. Okay, you can't do that, like I said, anymore. But look at Lamar, just the way he's rolling out. I mean, this game is just broken, dude. It's like all pro is just so bad. All pro is is the worst. You know what I mean? So, but anyways back on it uh i'm down 10 okay so i'm down 10 and then check this out boom i get cheated <laughs> so, like like why would he stop right there i just don't understand that i don't understand look he stopped he like you fucking moron like why would you stop dude so you'll see me get cheated quite a bit you know and um that was just great defense but at this point i'm like man i'm gonna lose if i don't tighten it up so you know i start to lock in here pretty soon I got latched on there. I think I hit a good jurdle, but I guess I got latched on and fell. And, you know, I switched to bunch and then I was running some sort of trip sets, right? But you always want to try to lab something, man, new. You, you don't want to stick in the same formation. You always want to try to lab something new. But yeah, man, if you guys are new here and you like the content, you know, or you came here from the freeform video, that freeform video that I put out, boom. Right, that's a that's a great play right there. But that freeform video will be pinned. I have videos pinned at the top of the comment section. As you see right here, I am in trips. Okay, wide side. You usually want your trips to the wide side. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you guys, you know, if you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button, man. Just consider it. You don't have to. It's up to you. Yeah, second quarter. I have nine seconds left. I don't have a timeout. And so what I do here is I try to motion over snap, but I can't, right? You can't motion snap. So I motion them back over and then I snap here, okay? That's a little trick if you want to have a little motion snap. This is what I was talking about. Look at that. 
touchdown psych <laughs> so that's what i'm saying i'm getting cheated like legit i'm legit getting cheated i mean that should have been a touchdown why is he stepping out of bounds it's just unbelievable some you know some of the things that that happened to me is just crazy but you always want to have that next play mentality you know what i mean you always want that next play mentality that that was a good read on his part that was it, i i know it may not look like it but that was actually uh that was a pretty good read on his part um and he's quick snapping the hell out of me so you know just trying to figure out what i'm gonna do here right try to make some adjustments um and then he gets away with it right lamar jackson able to get away with it and i hold him to three all right i held him to three so i'm down 10. so now i come out in trips right and then i hit smith so at this point you want to speed it up right you want to speed it up not too much but you want to speed it up a little bit right so i'm running just man beaters right cross drag uh, go route stuff like that so right so this is the play right here like i said i usually have walk-ins going on a go route or a deep post right so i'm i have a walk-ins on a go route aj brown on a post i have goddard and smith this is a great route combo okay especially for people who want to play in man coverage and right here right so what what you want ideally is you want to score before the fourth quarter before the third quarter ends you want to score as you see like i said just random fumbles dude like i didn't even juke or anything i i just don't understand you know, just the random fumbles but you want ideally you'd want to score before the fourth quarter starts okay so you would never want to take your time if i'm down 10 in this situation I would never want to take my time and drive down the field like i need to score so you want to be methodical you need to build the pressure right as soon as i snap the ball this is just great awareness by me is as soon as i snap the ball there's nobody over here so i'm gonna run with it and just take off and um if i didn't have this corner going this way i think i would have had it and then i get stopped <laughs> right i get stopped on the one so you know that that's kind of an issue as you see I, I motion tried to motion snap goddard and i still can't get in the end zone so i mean that's just really bad you know I'm, every second is going to count right here um but even though i'm behind like i said i'm still labbing this so you know it is what it is i actually came out in mesh and what you'll see is i turn this into just a block and play basically so i'm gonna drop back to pass because I didn't want to blast. I didn't want a QB blast. I didn't want HP power. I wanted to just block, sit in the pocket, and roll out. That was the plan here. So what I did was I just blocked everybody. I, I picked mesh, and I blocked everybody. So technically, it's still a pass play, right? And then I just wanted to see if I can roll to the left or to the right. So that was a mentality. As you see here, there's nobody open. Um, and then I decided to take off with it. I took off too late. I would have had it. So, right, as you see, I would have had it. Um, I don't know why it took me forever to take off, but as you see, by the time I took off, I got caught. That was the perfect play call, bad execution. So that's kind of what I think on that. And then right here, um, I just quick snapped. So I just quick snapped, roll out, hit Arnold and mesh right here. Arnold is really, surprisingly, he, he does pretty well on, on a regs, which is very interesting. Uh, but yeah, fourth quarter, right? Time's running down. This guy, he's moving the ball, but his reads are just, his play calling is is kind of questionable. Like just some of the stuff he does. You know? So I'm like, I know I can stop this guy. Just got to figure out how. And as you see, I read that, but nice of it, you know, nice read by him here. And, you know, we're down, uh, you know, he has three minutes left. This is very important is you have to pay attention. So the timeout, let's go over the timeouts real quick, right? I have three timeouts, two minutes left. You don't want to use your timeouts as you see, right? Three. So it was at three minutes the next play, boom, two minutes, 35 seconds. So he's, he's chewing clock, but you don't want to use your timeouts because this guy is just like, he's moving down the field. 
almost effortlessly, okay? So when somebody is just moving down the field so easily, you wanna hold on to your timeouts, okay? I wouldn't wanna use three timeouts right here and then have the two minute and then it's just he's moving down the field just too easy okay so when that when that happens you want to hold on to your timeouts i know it sounds strange not exactly ideal but in terms of madden and the video game hold on to your timeouts when somebody is just driving down the field just so easily and as you see here this was just a great gap shoot right as you see here right because he caught that and he's chewing clock i'm my mentality is i figured he was running so as you'll see i'll jump the snap almost as you see look i'm already jumping the snap so i'm jumping the snap and then boom i get just an excellent gap shoot that's just really just high level to to notice and as you see i did not call a timeout okay so i just let it go to the two minute it's second down and 14. so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna i'm gonna wait and see what happens and he ends up picking up a first down, okay? So, and he's chewing clock, okay? He's picking up the first down, chewing clock. So, what I'm doing is I'm playing really aggressive. So, I'm starting to press, right? And what I do is this running back keeps getting open. Dobbins keeps getting... I believe this is Dobbins. And he keeps getting open. So, what I'm doing is I'm cross-manning him with the defensive end, okay? If you want to know how to do this, I'll leave that video down in the description box too. Or actually in the comment section. And then, you know, you can kind of learn how to, how to do that, but... Right, I'm playing cover two. And um, just kind of making adjustments. What you'll notice is whenever you play somebody who's good but who's not great, they will usually fold under pressure whenever you get to the fourth quarter, minute left. You'll you'll see a lot of guys will fold, man. Will definitely fold. It's, it's very easy to fold. As you see, this guy had quite a few reads open. Look, if he looks down the field, he has Dobbins. You know, he has a run it, or actually, you know, this receiver open. He has Andrews open, and he has the post open. He just made a blind read. You know, that's what I'm saying. People just choke whenever you know towards the end. But look at that. That's just a horrible read. That he had the game one right there, right? So, boom. This is right here is a touchdown. Maybe I don't think this is a touchdown but maybe if you free formed here but definitely this tight end and then you know I, I don't know if that's beckham is that beckham i don't know but whoever this guy is this might be um duvernay or something but he lost it down <coughs> he lost it down because he's trying just trying to get too fancy you know he passes to dobbins right there so it is dobbins yeah and then um right so i hold him so i still have one timeout left Right, I have one timeout left, and he's only going to go up three, so I'm going to need a touchdown to win, okay? And that's perfectly cool. So I have my one timeout left, okay? But I'm coming out in trips because trip seems to be working. All right, and then I take off with it. I feel like that was a bad takeoff. I feel like that was a really bad, that was kind of a bad takeoff. I lost 10 seconds from that. Um... And I was not on the wide side. As you see, I did get cheated there. But what you'll see here is I'm not on the wide side. That's that's the reason this was kind of a bad play. Like, I was on the wide side, but I rolled out. What I did is I should have rolled out and then flicked the right stick up. But I just thought, I don't know, man. I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't have enough time to... to to no huddle, flip the play to the wide side. I mean, 30 seconds left. I'm trying to hang on to my timeout. So I just had to pick something, boom, and snap it. And, you know, as you see here, cheat it again. I click on, I rack it, and it hits his helmet. And I'm like, all right, cool. Right? And it's just, this isn't even the worst cheat. You'll you'll see toward, you'll see right here pretty soon towards the end. It just missed a wide open touchdown for the game because I get cheated, right? But this is a combo right here. So I have the C route on AJ Brown, right? Streak route, then Watkins, right? And I'm motioning over Swift. The reason I'm doing that is because I may roll out to the left, okay? And as you see, boom, nice read, man. Nice read by AJ Brown, or nice read to AJ Brown, right? So 
whenever I had, this was the route combo, right? So I have Swift going on out. What you'll see is whenever I have this combination, the streak, the C route, and then have the running back on an out. What I'm looking for is I'm watching this slot guy, okay? So the slot guy is in his zone. So as soon as I pass him, I already know that's going to be caught, right? It's just a great throw, great read. Um, and then you don't want to score right here, right? So I actually, um, I know they stopped me on the one, but I was what I was going to do is I was just going to run across. You know what I mean? When you run across here until the end, and then I was going to like, slide and just kind of lay down and so what i end up doing is i end up calling a timeout right the reason that i didn't want to score is because he's just driving down the field too easy okay so i would rather leave it in my hands okay and i would do the same thing if i was in the mcs or if i was in comp madden or if i was in the players lounge you know when somebody's moving if it was all madden oh i'd score but it's very different. All pro and all Madden are very different, okay? So if you're playing on all Madden, go ahead and score, right? If you're playing on all pro on regs or something like that, then you need to uh, lay down or just lay down at the one. And that way, you, know, you have a few chances, right? But as you guys know, if you watch my videos, this is one of my favorite route combos where I have my zig. This area right here, this is my favorite it's just one of my favorite routes is this route and spread right here. I put a zig route on whoever, AJ Brown, Goddard, whoever it is. And the zig route is just usually money, right? And then I have a zig route on the walk-ins, but I actually put him, I believe, yeah, I put him on a hitch and I have Swift on a Texas route. This is one of my favorite route combos. As you see, boom, right? He dropped it and I'm okay with that drop. I'm okay with that drop, but usually that's money. I'm really... I'm really surprised AJ Brown was just, they were hoeing me. Like, as you see, look at this right here. Touchdown. And he drops it. Like, come on. Like, this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the drive. Is he's dropping it. Like, dude, come on, man. Like, look at this. Wide open. He didn't get touched or anything. Just completely wide open. And boom, he drops it. He just completely drops it. And they, like I said, they were trying to cheat me in this game. So rather than raging and rather than, which is what I would usually do, but rather than doing that, next play mentality, okay? It's fourth down, or it's it's basically fourth down. I'll, I called a timeout a little bit too early, so I didn't get that extra play if I needed it. But nonetheless, you got to have the next play mentality of this is it. I, I got to score right here. And so this is a route combo, right? So I've got her on an out route, okay? So he has Humphreys right here, okay? If I was him... I would have had Humphreys in one of the slot positions, okay? He completely put his defense at a disadvantage when he has Humphreys over here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to notice Humphreys is right here. So I'm just going to have him on an out route. I'm just going to get him out of the game, right? Take him out of the game, right? And then um, the reason for uh, the Smith on this, you know, post or, or this uh, in route is just uh sometimes he gets open across the center depending on where the user goes but i have uh i have a wheel route and then i have a drag route okay so that's usually my read at least at this point it was my read is it was where is the user gonna go it's between swift and brown so it's swift brown and then smith that, those are my reads on this so i i look at smith or sorry not smith i looked at i look at okay i'm confusing myself <laughs> <laughs> All right, I ended up confusing myself. I'm looking at the running back. That's my first read. Brown is the second read. And then if he follows Brown, Smith on X will be my last read. Okay, I apologize in advance. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> right, so wheel, drag, and route. And as you see here, boom! He went for the drag, so I hit him. Let's go, man. What a crazy... I mean, just what a crazy game-winning drive. That's a, that's just a very clutch game-winning drive. Excellent um, execution. Uh, excellent with the timeout. Excellent with the play call to just, you know, fall down. Um, I did take the, you know, and I, I, as you see, I ended up winning. Nice, nice, you know, just great game winner, man. But, you know, as you see, those timeouts are very important. Timeouts are very, very important, guys. Uh, but nonetheless, man... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys 
uh, like the video and if you're new here subscribe man but i will see you guys in the next video uh, probably either tuesday or wednesday okay so anyways much love guys peace out